Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you one way to draw using two-point perspective, a row of buildings at an angle. If you'd like to keep up to date with the content that I make, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, and hit the notification button. The first step in this drawing, in two-point perspective, is to draw a horizontal line towards the base of your page. You could use a ruler or just draw it hands free. Next, draw two dots for the two vanishing points on this horizon line. One near the center of your drawing and one towards the far right. Next, from the center vanishing point, draw a straight line going up but to the right a bit as well. This is our guideline for the tops of the building seen at this sharp angle in perspective. Next, draw a vertical line to the horizon. And then we can draw another vertical line to the left of the first. Now we could draw a series of lines from the vanishing point in the center going towards the right. These lines represent the various floors of the building. We need a line from the vanishing point going to the right but also lower than the horizon. This will be for the baseline of the building. It's lower than the horizon because the horizon is really far away and anything lower than the horizon is nearer to us. Make sure all the vertical lines stay vertical in your drawing as this is a drawing in two-point perspective. If you'd like to learn more about drawing, I have a drawing course for beginners. The first three lessons are free. You can find them using the link in the description below this video. Drawing is a skill that anyone can learn. It's a skill you have to learn if you want to draw as you wish. So you'll find more details for all of my drawing courses at circlelineartschool.com. In this drawing at this stage, we can choose how many floors we want to draw for our building by drawing a series of perspective lines going away from the central vanishing point towards the right. And then once you've decided that, then we can draw some vertical guidelines to mark out where we want the windows. These vertical lines get closer together as they recede from us and go towards the vanishing point. So basically we're drawing a grid on the side of a long building, which we're seeing at an angle in two point perspective. But you might have noticed we've only used one vanishing point so far. Later on we'll use the second vanishing point on the right. It hasn't been forgotten. You might like to do some pen work on your drawing when you're ready. Draw the windows using the guidelines that we have already drawn. Next, you could extend the grid lines to the right and add more windows. Now we can use the second vanishing point on the right for the top right of the tallest building, which is receding in that direction. On the left, we could draw a vertical line to represent an edge of a building which is very close to us. We can also use the second vanishing point for the inside depth of the windows most architecture has parallel lines within the structures. That is why perspective can be a useful technique when drawing architecture. My architectural drawing course is finally to be launched later this year. I'm very excited to share it with you. If you'd like to keep up to date with my content, please join my mailing list. Details at my website, circleandartschool.com. I really would encourage you to keep learning how to draw. I've been drawing all my life and I just find it endlessly fascinating how much more I can learn all the time. If you are a beginner at drawing and would like to learn more, I have a drawing course specifically for beginners. 
The first three lessons are free. You can get them by using the link in the description below this video. Drawing is a skill that anyone can learn. It's a skill that you have to learn, techniques that you need to understand if you want to draw as you wish. I hope that helps. If you want the free lessons, they're just in the description below. If you'd like to, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or any suggestions for future videos, for future drawings, please um, put them in the comments. Thanks very much and see you next time. And if you'd like to watch some more of my videos, please click on one of the ones on screen. Thanks for watching and see you next time.